Okay, so I've got a couple layers here. This will be my first try at ironing these things together. Uh, well, they kind of cross thread, so I'm not sure it's going to matter. But here, we'll give it a shot with some parchment paper. And give her a go. I have no, have no idea how long this might take or... Let that cool a minute. That was pretty quick if it's going to be that easy. Huh. Huh. Well, I can certainly peel it. Up. Well, I can peel it apart, but it is ripping the uh, the coating apart just like it would if you were peeling apart a. Uh, sample with the resin on it. Huh. I'll take another layer and see about going again. I hope this works. I like this a lot more than using the resin. And another go. Paper's not liking it very much. But... Wonder how many layers you'd be able to do simultaneously. Well, I'd say that looks promising, and I like the fact that it's light and not messy at all. Minimize the amount of epoxy I use. Ouch. <laughs> Here it is. This is the uh, ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene plate that I made previously using bonding all the sheets together with uh, with an iron. You see, it's pretty stiff. I've wrapped it in tape, but nonetheless, uh, when I shoot this thing, I fully expect it to uh, delaminate completely. And what we're going to see is if 115 grain 9 millimeter will penetrate all the way through. The specs say that it should not, that this should be enough to stop that particular bullet. And I'll be standing seven yards away. There we go. Okay. It hit low. It partially delaminated. You can see that right here. There's the bullet, actually. You can see it. I hit a little low. Um, but it did absolutely stop the bullet. Wow. There's the entry. There's the entry. No exit. Huh. Surprising. I've uh, pulled the bullet out, and there it is. Nice flattened and did not go through. So 24 layers is easily enough to stop a nine millimeter full metal jacket round through a three inch barrel.